Okay, hello, welcome. This is going to be the video for 2.2. Okay, to make it a little faster, to not waste so much of your time, I'm just going to kind of explain how to do it, but maybe not actually do them in this. I really fear you need it. Okay, the history to the right represents the weights of the members of a high school math team. How many team members are included? So what you have to do is you have to go to these frequencies. So this is how, this is a bar, this is like a bin. And then you can see that there's three people in this bend. Because look over here, that's three. So there's three people here. So you have to do three plus, now I'm looking at the next bend, which went up. Which means there was four people that weighed there. So now I'm at seven <coughs> plus five because the bend went up. Okay, for the 135, 135 down here, it's up to five. Plus three. So plus three. So right now it's going to be three plus four plus five plus three plus five plus it looks like a two plus one. So whatever that comes out to be. Oh, let me go back and make sure. Okay, that's all they ask. Okay, now to get the class width, what you're going to do is these numbers here on the bottom of your, of your graph, 120, 140. This is actually the first class. Well, I'll just tell you what to do. It's just, all you have to do is go up one. You say here or there, you go up to here and you do 120 minus one, uh, 100. That's all you do. So it's 20. You could have did 140 minus 120. Totally up to you. Okay. What are the approximate lower class limit? Approximate lower class limit of the first class is the one, 100. The 100, that's all the way to the left, right up here. Okay. That's 100. Okay, now this next one might be a little tricky because when you look at this histogram, it goes to 119, but 119 is the first, the, the lower, it's, this is the lower of the second class. So if this is your histogram, 100 is the lower of class 1. <coughs> Excuse me. 120 is the lower class two. So your upper is actually 119. Okay, so this one, I'm just looking to see which one it is. So I'm just scanning my histograms. I'm looking for the one that's first bin goes to three. That's gonna kind of figure it out for me. Okay. Okay, so three, the first one, no. So A is, it's not A. It could be B, it can't be C, because C's is about eight. Hopefully that's it. I'm going to go with B. That's all I have. Okay, good. Okay, so to be normal, it has to like low, up, 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 peak, and then drop, drop, drop. So it, does, it definitely looks like it does. I like that. So I got B. You could pause it and look to make sure. Okay, so the same thing I'm looking for. My first bin to be around a 12. So I know A is not it. B looks good so far. Okay, C looks no good. And D looks good. Now I'm looking for the one that... Now C, D is about the same for everybody. But B is dropping off. And if you look over here, they're dropping. So the answer should be uh, B.
And this histogram is a skewed, okay, is a longer right tail. So these are the actual tails. On the end of any distribution is the tail. And if it's longer that way, it's skewed that way. So this is skewed to the right, so make sure you practice that. Okay, so I'm looking for a frequency of one, a one and a one. So B and D are out. So eight, 10, Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go with A. Obviously it looks like it's the same one, but histograms generally uh, touch. And it does look roughly symmetric. If they say no, then they're wrong. Okay, good, so glad that one was quicker. Hope it's helping.